Hey guys, welcome to yet another Anoda digital lesson from your Anoda Media Center. We're going to have a lot to do today, but before we get started, we're going to play my favorite game. It's called Guess the Sound. Grab a sibling, grab a friend, see if you can defeat Mr. Sanders in this sound. Here we go. One, two, three, listen. Oh, that's a weird one. Let's hear it one more time. Here we go. All right. What? What could that be? Well, you know what? Go ahead and guess. Give me a drum roll. It is, let's see. It is a gibbon. That is what makes that unique sound. What a unique call the gibbon has. Well, today we're talking about something that has nothing to do with the gibbon. We're talking about finding your own books according to Mr. Sanders. So I figured while I have you guys captured in your seat, stuck at home with nothing to do, you're stuck there, I figured I would tell you how to find your own books, because a lot of you guys ask, how do I find a book in the Media Center, Mr. Sanders? And so, you know, it's a new year, and every year I need to teach you guys this, so you know what? Here we go. I wish I was with you, but I'm not, and we're going to do it online today, all right? So, let's check it out. Here's our intro. Today I'm going to show you the steps you need to do in order to find your own book using the computers and the maps in the Media Center. These steps include... Using keywords to find the book you want. A keyword is a word you use to search. Most of you guys should know that by now. Finding the call number for the book. The call number is these numbers or letters that live on the side of the book. The side of a book is called the spine. This is all review for you guys, and this is the call number. A call number is like you have an address for your home where you live. This is the address of the book you want. It's the same kind of concept. Instead of finding your home, you're going to find your book. And we're going to use maps to discover where the call number is. And then, if you guys were here with me, we would find the book on the shelf. But when you come back, you'll know how to find the book on the shelf yourself. All right? So, the first thing you need to do is you need to have a piece of paper. You're going to type in a keyword for what you're looking for. It can be a title, an author, a keyword, or a subject. For example, you could type in Harry Potter. That's the title or of the series, or even a keyword. Or you could do the author. The author of Harry Potter is J.K. Rowling, so you could do Rowling. You never have to type smaller words like the, and, or, or, of. You don't have to type those little words like that. Just the main keywords. Those are the things you type in when you're looking for a book. So, now you got your piece of paper here. You're going to write the title down, all right? So there's your name, Johnny Nosepicker. And after you found the book on the computer and found the title, write the title of the book on the second line of your piece of paper, okay? So the title of the book could be Stinky, Smelly, Hold Your Nose Science, okay? And then underneath that, you're going to look at the call number on the computer. It's in bold print below the author's name. I'm about to show you some examples. Don't worry. And you'll write the call number down. So here's an example. We did Harry Potter. We typed in Harry Potter in our search bar and this is what came up here we go so this is harry potter and the chamber of secrets that's the title of this book this individual book and its call number see how it says call number is f row now that f right there stands for fiction we're going to review all those and r o w here are the first three letters of the author's last name so all our fiction and all our easy books also called picture books are organized like this. They will have the first three letters of the author's last name. All right. Then you write the call number down. You write the call number on the third line of paper. If it's a nonfiction book, the call number will be numbers and then three letters. So, for instance, Science Experiments could be the title of a book, and its call number would be 507 because it is nonfiction, which means it's a real thing, a real subject. It's not from someone's imagination. Now, if the book is fiction, the call number will be all letters. Even though it's called a call number, call numbers for fiction in picture books at elementary schools all only have the author's last name. And most many library, public libraries organize the same way. So, for example, you would have F. Han. So, those are H O N. Those are the first three letters of the author's last name, and the F stands for fiction or the fiction section in our media center. Or you could have E, the, 
T-H-A are the first three letters of the author's last name, and the E stands for an easy book or a picture book, and it will be in the easy book section. All these sections, fiction, easy, nonfiction, all of them have signs up on the wall that you can easily look at. They look like little chalkboards, and they have the uh, section of the Media Center written on them. All right. So you can use the signs in the library to find the area for the call number. Okay. This is what our shelving system looks like in our Media Center. We have informational text and teacher's text right here. And then we also have nonfiction there grouped together with the informational text. They're all nonfiction, and it's going to have numbers. Those books will have numbers. We have a fiction area in the middle. Those are your chapter books, and we have the easy section at the very far left of the media center. And this is those back doors in our media center. So you can easily find the area that your call number is located in. Remember, if the call number begins with numbers, it's in the nonfiction section. If it begins in numbers, it's going to be right here near the double doors in the back of the media center. If the book is fiction, it's in the fiction area of the library. And if it's a picture book, it'll be in the easy section of the library. Okay. So here's some examples. Now, I want you to look at this, and you can just say out loud, what section of the media center do you think this book would be in? What section? Would it be fiction, easy, or nonfiction? Oh, I gave you three seconds wait time, and I hope you said nonfiction because these call numbers have actual numbers. And remember, I told you if it's a number, the call number is going to be, the book is going to be in the nonfiction section. You can see 101 Great Science Experiments. That sounds like a nonfiction book, doesn't it? All right, let's see another example. Here we go. We have the letter E and then B. All right, for, oh no, how my science project destroyed the world. So go ahead. Just tell me, do you think, just say it out loud, is that an easy book, a fiction book, or a nonfiction book? All right, three seconds wait time. It is an easy book. You can see that because it starts with E, and then this B right here is for Barnett. And usually they have three letters in the author's last name, but this one only starts with B. Now, finally, we have another one. It's circled here. I want you to tell me, just say it out loud, if you think it's a fiction, a nonfiction, or an easy book. That's a hard one. What do you think? Well, we have numbers, there's your clue. Guys, that is a nonfiction book. And even though it has E right here, but because it has numbers, it's going to be in the nonfiction section. I know that's tricky. You got to watch out for it. Any book with numbers is going to be in the nonfiction section. All right, here's another one. Zombies of the Science Fair, it's circled here. Tell me if you think it's going to be in the fiction, nonfiction, or easy section. All right, it is, I hope you said fiction because we don't have any numbers, so we know it's not nonfiction. And if there's no numbers, I'm going to look for an E or an F right here. And I found an F. The F stands for fiction. Sometimes this will say F-I-C for fiction, too. But anyways, it says F and then C-O-V. That stands for Coville, the author, the first three letters of the author's last name. Coville, C-O-V. So this would be in the C section of the fiction books, which are in the middle of our stacks in the Media Center. All right, now the final step after you've found the book you want. And when school reopens, you will find your book on the shelf, bring the paper and the book up to the counter and show them both to me. I'll check the book out and you'll be ready to start your reading adventure. Guys, that's all I got for you today. And hopefully you'll remember this, but I'm probably gonna, I'll have this video to show anybody that really wants to learn how to find their book. So now we have this awesome learning resource. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys soon. I can't wait to see you all again. Bye.